So have you ever heard of the game Guilty Gear? Nothing to do with racing or tour reform. Very disappointing. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Trill Ass Trailers. My name is Kenny Kynes and I only review movie trailers because that's what God intended. And by God, I mean cocaine. This week we take a look at Star Trek Beyond. Because remember, in space, no one can hear you snore. My dad joined Starfleet because he believed in it. I joined on a dare. You joined to see if you could live up to him. He spent all his time trying to be your dad. And now you're wondering what it means to be you. It looks like Kirk is really trying to live up to the legacy of his father throughout all of these films, but seems to cause nothing but havoc and mayhem. You know, George W. Bush tried to do the exact same thing, so let's hope it goes a little bit better for Kirk. Fast and the Furious 6 director Justin Lin takes over the directing duties for this installment, and apparently he was really excited to work on this film as it would finally give him a chance to work on a movie that was grounded in reality. Man, it's great to see that in the 23rd century, dirt bikes and members only jackets are still a thing. I guess it's better than the late 21st century, where most of humanity was wiped out by the great Franco Prussian Jinko Wars. Man, never forget. You know, they say there are not a lot of great roles for black actors in Hollywood, but seeing Idris Elba under layers of weird prosthetic makeup, looking like Louis Gossett Jr. from the movie Enemy Mine, probably proves him right. Hey, here's a fun fact. Did you know that the original Star Trek was the first TV show to betray an interracial kiss when Captain Kirk successfully wooed Fred Sanford? It's good to see Chris Pine continuing the legacy of great starship captains, including Picard, Archer, Sisko, Crunch, Phillips, and my personal favorite, Kangaroo. Unity is not your strength, it is a weakness. I think you're underestimating humanity. Not really. I mean, this is the species that fought two world wars, commits genocide regularly, and managed to convince itself successfully that you can have a boneless rib sandwich, which doesn't make any sense. It has to have bones in it or it wouldn't be a rib sandwich. We call it a rib because of the bone, not the meat. Then it would be a meat sandwich, a rib meat sandwich, but it's not called that. It's called a McRib, which is a lie, right? And these corporations, they lie to us over and over again, right? They keep perpetuating this stuff and we just keep taking it, right? You don't even get me started on the Bilderberg Group, you know, the Trilateral Commission, the Illuminati. It's all the same thing, man. And these sheeple, right, they just keep taking it. And they won't say anything. You know who's gonna say something? Nobody. That's who's gonna say something, right? It's all, it's all conspiracy. It's all tied together, you know what I'm saying? 